Hey lovelies, welcome back to Simply Share Share. Now, if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, everything that we do right here is all about getting things done simply. So you are definitely in the right place. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and you will never miss a new episode. Today I'm gonna to share one of my projects that I did for one of my favorite clients. And this space is in a corporate office but you can definitely find some great ideas to steal to incorporate into your own home. All right, so it's time to get things done simply. Let's jump right into it. This office has the bones of a typical corporate office. You know what I'm talking about. Cold, sterile, no pizzazz, fluorescent lighting. It's probably one of my biggest pet peeves. And the goal was to make sure that it did not look like a corporate office. This is the reception area, and it's the first thing you see once you step off the elevator, and it really had to reflect the culture of the television production company. They have an office in LA that looks really, really cool, cool, cool. This is the flagship Toronto office, and I really wanted it to be one of a kind. I was really lucky. I had a blank canvas, the walls are white, the floor was pretty neutral, it was black with a little bit of white fleck in it, and I was cool with it. I'm just gonna work with what I got. With every Everything that I do now, it's really about sharing. C-H-E-R. So there's creativity, there's healing, there's exploration, and restoration. And we're gonna break it down for you. First up, let's get creative. Whenever I'm working on a tight budget, I like customizing stock items. So I took three office cabinets from Ikea. Then I added a kitchen countertop with a herringbone pattern and made sure that it was the same depth as the cabinets. I also spray painted the hardware in gold to give it a nice, luxurious feel. With just a few changes, this piece looks so chic. It looks like a beautiful custom sideboard at a fraction of the cost. The cabinets also work to store large packages, boots in the wintertime, honestly, almost anything, but also acts as an extra work surface. Next up, healing. When I think about a healing space, I always add elements of nature. And you can do this in a variety of ways. It doesn't mean you have to go out and buy a million plants and just stick them to all of the corners. Here's how you do it. Normally I would say, if you can, make sure to get real plants, real flowers to really add some life to your space. When you're working in a space that has absolutely zero natural light, whether it's a basement or a corporate office, that's sort of in the interior of the building, don't worry about it. Actually, faux is a go. The first thing you see when you walk into the reception area is this niche. And it's like the perfect opportunity to really dress it up and add a statement. For this space, I thought it would be really cool to kind of bring that LA vibe, bring some palm leaves to Toronto. But the thing that made it really different was that it looks like a watercolored painting. Instant artwork for a space. Murals tend to have a larger pattern and wallpapers a little bit smaller in scale and the pattern repeats. With that palm leaf mural, it just looks so easy and breezy and awesome and chill. I really love it. Now I have to tackle the area behind the reception desk. Also, I thought, why don't I create some frames with moss in it? What I love about moss art is that it adds a lot of texture to the space, it's easy to make, and if you want, you can check out how to make these frames right over here, of course, after you finish watching this video. So when it came to accessorizing, find florals and greenery that look as real as possible. So when they're like bright green, you wanna to tend to avoid those. Or if you have an orchid and the petals look too foamy and plastic, stay away from those too. Sprinkling all these natural elements around the room from the large mural to the medium sized moss art to even the small little succulents on the table, it's really about creating harmony as you look around the room. Something that's really important to me is exploration and expanding my knowledge. So sometimes when I'm on a strict budget, I like trying to shop in different ways, find deals, try new suppliers, and just really get in touch with what's out there. In this situation, I didn't have to buy multiple of the same kind of furniture pieces, so I needed one desk, one chair, one bench. So it was great because I could go to the furniture stores and just look at the clearance sections, see what floor models were on sale, and I totally scored. I found this stunning dining table, which is a floor model, and I'm using it as a reception desk. The gold base really adds a lightness to the space, 
And now you can really appreciate the area rug below. The chair that I'm using for the receptionist is a nice comfy bucket style. It's fabric, is really, really nice with the geometric pattern. And the best part, it swivels. Of course, before you go shopping, try and figure out how long you're gonna be sitting at a desk every day. And if it's minimal and you're gonna be walking around and doing other things a little bit more physical, then a dining chair can also be a nice stylish option. So the question is, can an office space be restorative? Absolutely. Even if you have the worst fluorescent lighting in your office space or in your basement, you can add a couple of different types of lighting to really help set the mood. It's all about having different types of light to highlight different features. So in the areas where I really wanted the items to pop, so the mural and the artwork, we have track lighting and just make sure it's on a dimmer. And we also have beautiful lucite and gold lamps that give this incandescent glow. Just by adding a few different kinds of lighting in the space, can really change the atmosphere. And just remember, it's the first and the last area that the employees will see every day. Let's see the before and the after. The greenery and wood finishes mixed with lots of texture and pattern create this cozy and welcoming vibe. Everywhere you look, there's something to discover. So now it's your turn. If you wanna let me know what you loved about this makeover, hopefully you'll give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and tell me what you're doing in your spaces these days. I love hearing from you. If you love seeing these kinds of makeovers, make sure you turn on the notifications so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you wanna connect with me, you can head over to my Instagram or my Facebook to join the Simply Share Share family. Remember, it's all about getting things done simply. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will be back next week with a brand new video. I love you guys.